Hello, I'm your host, Mateo Vonsuela, and I'm joined here today by three guests, AJ, hello, Michael, what's up, and Lucas. Hi. Recently, a transgender woman verbally assaulted a GameStop employee for misgendering the transgender. Lots of people have made fun of the, the transgender woman for her outbursts. Others say she did the right thing by defending her gender identity. As of today, we are dealing with issues that generations have never dealt with before. From a teenager's perspective, was this being handled the correct way? From Spot 127, this is Spotcast. So, in your guys' opinion, what what do you think would have been better in this situation? Recording the situation or helping out one of the two, either the woman or the man? In my opinion, I don't think that there is any right choice. I mean... Recording it in, in certain occasions could be considered a, a proper choice if it was used as evidence, but probably what was going through the people's mind was probably more the lines of entertainment, which is not okay. Well, for some people, like if you record in this sort of situation, it would just instigate kids like the ones at GameStop, because if you were to help them, it would be better for the kids. So I think, no matter what, that people, where people are, if an event happens, somebody's going to record it, because even if we were there, we probably would have wanted to record it ourselves, because it would be a pretty interesting video to have, but we probably wouldn't try to help, because it would be like us getting in the way of this woman who's freaking out and kicking things around. So... Even if we wanted to help without recording, we really wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, I would probably have to agree with that since, you know, today a lot of people like to just pull out their phones and like, oh, let me post this on Instagram real quick. So that's a pretty common thing. But uh, in this situation, what do you think you guys would have done? Do you think you would have defended the transgender woman or do you think you would have defended the employee? I would have defended the transgender woman because it, like, it was wrong for the guy uh, to like i'll defend both of them because like both of them like um, made an accident and created this situation so i think they both had um i think they both deserve to be a little bit defended because the cashier did call the woman sir way too many times uh but it's probably because he was just scared because she was going a little bit overboard in her reaction and if she just calmly corrected him, then the whole situation could have been avoided. Uh, but she did have a right to get a little angry, but it was a bit too angry. Well, I think the term that you two were looking for was mediator or be a median between the two. And honestly, I think I would have defended the transgender because the person had, as stated, mul had multiple times missed gendered the transgender so even though he it seemed that he was scared there's only a certain amount of times that you can make the same mistake before it becomes not really a mistake honestly you guys all make very good points you know it's kind of hard to pick a side after hearing all these perspectives personally i would probably go with the gamestop employee since seeing after you know the transgender lady there was really no need to freak out you know going around kicking you know gamestop stuff but uh do you think that we will begin <laughs> to see more issues such as this one in today's society since we're starting to see more transgenders in our society i would hope not but that is as i know nothing more than wishful thinking there is no doubt going to be a few of these that pop up whether it's because of douchebags that believe that start your answer Go use that word. <laughs> whether it's because of jerks no, that the whole answer. <laughs> i i wish that there I hope that there aren't going to be m many more of these, but that's just we wishful thinking because I know that there's going to be more due to jerks who either want to on purposely mock the transgenders or 
people who generally have yet to uh, notice the difference between with either gender and then a transgender person. So I kind of agree with Lucas, and I think that as more of the older generation of adults that were stricter and more religious, who kind of shunned uh, sex- other sexualities other than being heterosexual and were more religious, as they're passing on and more people are accepting of it, more kids will be willing to come out. And there will probably be more people who don't misgender them rather than purposefully misgender them to be rude. I just feel like more people will learn how to pr- correctly greet people. I also agree that like it's going to make uh, kids feel scared, but at the same time, it's going to like be bad for the new generation because... Um, other times it might even teach uh, the new generation to be like that which will grow the population so it will become more common I'd like to thank you all for being here I'd like to thank AJ you're welcome and thank you Michael thank you and you're welcome and Lucas thanks for having me (laughs) for Spot 127 this is Spotcast